Hello Mojo everybody, welcome to my channel, thank you for watching my video. Today we'll build from Plastic Soldier Company, the Sexton Troops. So that is toward my 3rd Canadian Infantry Division for Flames of War. And we'll talk about the 12th Field Regiment, Royal Canadian Artillery, number 42 on their vehicle and recognition. And this is the Plastic Soldier Sexton. It's a 15mm or 1-100. There's 5 Sexton inside. And the, the number of the box is WW2V15035. In the back, they show you suggestion of the painting. And here's the plan. You have the other sexton and late sexton colored. So what is black is everybody. And what is red is for the early version. And the purple will be for the late version. So really easy to follow step. So... We'll build one together, and from there, after that, uh, we'll go for painting and weathering the vehicle, and that will complete my video with uh, the painting weathering presentation of this vehicle. Here's the sprues. There's four, the, uh, five. They all five identical, so there's no problem there. You can see there's really, de uh, really well uh, defined the position of everything. There's the soldier. There's the, uh, the front are together, so the two options, the track, two options are together. And uh, so we'll build one. we will build one. So first, what they recommend to do, and I will follow the step-by-step -step of the Plastic Soldier Company, is to install the track to the lower case of the vehicle. If you really, may, you have to really be careful and uh, pay attention that the drive sprocket go in front of the vehicle so when it's built and it's not that more difficult for that there's little grommet to make sure that the track fit at the proper place and it is really that easy to install after that you put the vehicle all or not all because that's the lower all that's uh, the upper all if we can see where the crew will work so the, in the back you got the motor place and then in, in the middle you got where the troop is standing with the gun they recommend at this step two or three two to install the driver first because you won't be able to install the driver once it is built so that's why you see me put it in there and then i install the base for the gun from there it's time to put in the back the re the wall that have a little fence in the back of the vehicle and then at this step i'm a bit clumsy there but it's important to verify to make sure they go at the right place. And this is the mud guard with uh, utility box, if we can see, uh, uh, over the track. So there's one on each side. So there's a little mud, mud guard in the back plus the box. So you install the box, one on each side. And then you get the cover for the box. Um, what I did check on the plan is to make sure that the opening is according to their plan. So the inch are inside and the end all on the outside so when technically you open it you open it toward the inside when that is done the next step would be to install the back where the crew is standing and to operate the gun where there's a little sit and also some storage for equi equipment like radio etc on one side you got the wall it's a really thin wall in real life they were really thin too they are not there to protect the crew against shell or high caliber gun uh, or uh, machine gun or rifle it is more to protect against uh, uh, shrapnel if they get shell around and there's one that doesn't hit the vehicle but it's pretty close that will be uh, some sort of protection for the crew so when you do that you make sure that you get ready to install all the parts because you don't want the glue to s you want the glue to set but not to so if you need to move a bit, you are able to, then you install the front. And the front will be attached to those two sides, so you have, that's why you have to do it in a fairly fast way. So if it doesn't fit perfectly, you can adjust those sides. And it went well, as you can see, I didn't have to adjust. And from there, you need to install is uh, the front where the transmission was. It's a three-part transmission. Uh, cover like the early version they, they were on the shaman and most of their vehicle so the two little thing i'm placing right there in the middle 
where the attachment with rivet of all three uh, part for the transmission cover. That's done. I'm just making sure that everything is glue. The next part um, is would be to put the gun together. So you got two pieces for the base or holding the gun to the vehicle and then the gun itself it's a one piece so you don't have to create more piece to put it together. When you glue those two pieces you just have to make sure not to glue the gun to uh, the base of the gun. It is meant that the gun will fit into the base and the base can sit on the vehicle itself and when that is done and you properly glue it the gun would be able to turn a bit left and right if you don't glue it to the vehicle and the gun itself will go up and down for firing. So that's pretty much covered the entire build of my sextant. Also I have uh, with me some M7 pre's because uh, I didn't purchase the pre's, I print them but I will print, I will paint them in the same time as my 7 pre's with the same color coding we can see. So you got some also some extra storage you can install. There's a tarp that can be installed in the back. You just have to look underneath the tarp. You got a bit like uh, the form of the tools that are on top of the, the vehicle. So there's a shovel there and another tool. Another tool I don't remember that will kind of fit right under the tarp. So when it's done, it's really easy. And you can also put right uh, near the axe a reel of a phone cable. The reason for that is most of those vehicles when they park, one of the guy will reel the cable all the way to the command tent so they can receive their firing orders and they don't have to travel from one, one spot to the other. And then you didn't see me put it there but as you can see when I paint the vehicle it is uh, the, uh, the reel is there. So what I did, I start with dark green and I spray all my vehicle dark green when it's dry. I, I don't show you the painting, air, air painting, air painting dark green. I don't, that's not much relevant for that. It's all just painting dark green, the entire vehicle, regardless of the part and so on. When that is done, I start to paint the track and the rubber on the sprocket wheel and uh, return wheel as well and I do that for my M7 priest and I do the same to my sexton so I'm painting the the track it's it's called dark rubber I think it's XF65 but anyway when it's come to painting and the color I use uh, you can watch in the description below I will mark each color used with the, com with the company and also what part of the vehicle I paint with that particular color. So I'm going to show you just a bit painting one track. So all the Sherman track and derivative like the Sexton or M7 Priest, they are all based on the Sherman. They add rubber track on all of it. So that's why I'm painting just black rubber. Uh, yeah, black rubber. The difference will be when you paint uh, you do the late sexton for example the British use a Canadian track where there's more metal in it to give more grip uh, and movement but that is uh, only for one vehicle so I won't show it when that is done I start to paint the tools I use oil steel for the metal part on the tools and I use the color old wood from value for uh, the wood part on those tools and when that's all tools done I also use oil steel to work or to make some uh, wear on the, t on the bridge of uh, the gun and also other part of the vehicle to show there's some paint scratch and remove on the vehicle when that is done I decide to return to the track and for this time I'm going to just use a bit of rust on the outside of the track because the middle of the track is mostly rubber with metal that go through 
to attach them together but the outside they were like track link of metal so I put rust around to give like a certain uh, look at it when you look from on the table you can see uh, a bit more definition of the track and and the vehicle and I use khaki color for the tarp. Uh, the reason I use khaki is khaki is because your webbing of uh, the commandable troop work that color so I figure why not putting the tarp the same color and make it more standard for everything so every time you're gonna see a tarp on a vehicle or with the troops it would be khaki color it's a standard I decide to make and it, it make a bit more definition in the overall of the vehicle when you look from apart you can see like nice bright color uh, on the vehicle that define it there's leather strap that attach the tarp in the back so I put black leather strap and I'm gonna put some natural steel color on the buckle of each track and that uh, of each strap now that the vehicle is finished to paint let's install some decals for that I'm gonna use homemade decals first I'm gonna put gloss varnish on the vehicle where the decal would be installed then with micro set I will install those homemade decals as you can see here in a few pictures the decals of the unit and the insignia of the division are in different place in front of the vehicle we can see two sextant and one uh, kangaroo everything is the name for those one and they are a bit in front so for me I decided to put them in the bottom of uh, the front plate and on the right side would be the third Canadian infantry division logo and on the left side the number 42 blue and red that represent the 12th field artillery as you can see I paint white before the reason for that because they are on my decals if I install those decals directly on the dark green you will barely see the decals so I paint them white put the varnish install the decal the decals varnish paint dark green around the decals so you don't see that was paint white before and that pretty much complete painting and weathering of my sexton now for the crew the driver inside I tried to paint the uniform a bit and is in it and the crew wear paint according to or you can see according to flames of war but also the same way and with the same paint color as my rifle company so if you want to see how I paint them you just go see my rifles company rifle company and you're gonna get an idea of how I paint my guys but it's important to know I use the same color painting for the uniform as those guys so they all look alike because they are part of the command vault and they are Canadian force so they are all have the same uniform as you can see there's three guys in the vehicles and one driver so for a total of four uh, it's pretty cramped and you don't count the ammunition but in real reality there were that many inside the vehicle when they were moving but when they were firing they were only basically two inside one that fired the gun and one load the gun everybody else were outside the vehicle and because my M7 priest that I built aside and they are print from my 3D printer I don't have crew so my crew would be transferred from one team to uh, from one vehicle to the other depending depending of the game I played so that complete my 12th field regiment Royal Canadian Artillery vehicles I hope you enjoy. I'll see you soon with my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.